I guess this morning I just can't get enough off my chest. It's uh, 10 till 9 in California and it's the 24th of July. I got seven days left to move everything out of that one storage and then I have to figure out how, how, how or what I'm going to do about the other two storages that are overlocked as they call it because I owe them money. This all just fell apart. Just like every possession I've ever worked for. I mean, how would you like it if everything you worked for for the last 30 years was taken from you? And it took 10 years for them, for the city of Los Angeles, to take everything from me. It's uh, evil. Totally evil. So anyway, I was talking about earlier about the poison stuff that happened in the 70s and, and the shootings and how you're all guilty of murder. It doesn't matter who you are. Your highs and lows and emotional contrivances. Because that's what you are. You're just an emotional contrivance. Up one minute. There are seven basic emotions that you can feel. One or a few of them all at the same time. I can name a few of them for you. Mad, sad, glad. It goes on. Uh, and it it's that's why people call this world crazy. <coughs> it's very difficult to figure out anything anymore, especially when you're down and out. Uh, like that song says, nobody loves you when you're down and out. Nobody cares about you when you're down and out. But when you're up and really successful, everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody wants a favor. Everybody huh, wants something. You, you, you have a very desensitized society. It's, I, it's as if I'm from another planet or another world. I, when I was born, I knew there was something different about me. That um, that would excel by be beyond my wildest dreams, and I got my wish. Unfortunately, I also uh, have been mistreated and destroyed. And any plan or action that I uh, embarked on was always being interfered with for many different reasons. I could go into some of them, which is either people didn't understand me or they didn't realize what I was doing or, or they're just vindictive and desensitized and you know they're, they're, uh, they have this this addiction to want to control others or control freaks to control their environment when you can't control your environment earthquakes have proven that tornadoes have proven that hurricanes have proven that like I said before I didn't lose my stuff through a natural disaster okay the Nazis didn't come into my store and throw me out into the street and put a Jewish star on me and made me march into the gas chambers. No. Worse. At least they got to die. At least those people in Colorado are dead now. I envy them because they're dead. Just like I want to be. And I'm a presidential candidate. Poor. A poor individual cannot run for president because they can't raise money. That's the only thing that makes a person get into the office. And then once you get into the office, they hit you with all this top secret crap. Oh, you can't say that. You'll be impeached if you violate or commit treason. That's treason to reveal a secret. That's why I chose to be an emperor. I figured if I symbolically overthrow the country, which I did in 1996 on cable access television, then, you know, I'm the emperor. I'm, I'm, I make the decision above Congress, above the president, above the vice president, even though the decision is only symbolic. But you wouldn't believe the stuff I think of every morning. You wouldn't believe one word of it. 
I relive seeing my bus being taken away. And every time I was forced to move it, uh, another ding, another broken window. Uh, once I was in Pyramid Lake and those jerk-offs up there broke every window in every one of my cars, stole a transmission out of my cars. People slashed my tires. If I wrote a book about how much abuse I've been through, it would be this thick. It would be six inches thick. And it would be every page, the abuse, the police, parking enforcement, private citizens, uh, every, everything you can think of under the sun. And, then or, and or neglect, outright, unbelievable neglect in watching me suffer. Police brutality. Uh, I could go on and on and on. And I'm not a violent person. I've never sh shot anybody or done anything wrong like that. Nothing, nothing seriously violent. And yet uh, violence has been committed on me repeatedly. It's as if... I'm suffering the fate of Christ, being crucified, whipped, flogged. I've been wearing this crown of thorns. My, God, at least definitely the last 10 years. But I'd count the whole 30 years or 25 years for me and 30 years for my older twin. I'd count all of that as that's what you're doing to me, crucifying me, little at a time. Not right away. Even I even envy Christ. At least he died. Eventually he died. Okay? It was over. Of course, there are those that believe he resurrected, but there's no proof of that. But he died. So, what's the big deal with me? You could be hurting a mental giant and not know it. Maybe a lot of my actions and reactions and the many things that I've said on YouTube have been some of it an act. But it isn't. I'm definitely angry. I can, I can flow through all of these emotional states. Mad, sad, glad. There's seven of them. We all do it continually. But it's different when you're forced to go through them. When you're, when they call what I have situational depression. But who created the situation? These people. This government. This city. You're creating the situation. Just because a place looks perfect and nice doesn't mean that the people in it are perfect and nice. You can't judge a book by its cover. And if you kill the golden goose, you'll only get blood and feathers and flesh. The golden goose that laid the golden egg. The goose that laid the golden egg. So where, where does this all end? I don't know. Probably with my death, eventually. Something will happen. Something's bound to medically happened to me that is going to put me in the hospital when I go in there I'll know I'm closer to death and and I simply will shut off my will to live I really don't have much of a will to live now because I don't eat breakfast anymore I don't follow I don't I'm not capable of following a rigid program of proper diet because my life has been flogged destroyed whipped chains. Even churches turn their back on me. I said, all I need is a piece of property to hide my buses and cars. Can't you help me? Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholic Church, Christian churches, doesn't matter, all of them. The only people that came to help me was after they burned my house. And that was an organization that was from Taiwan. And it was an Eastern philosophy organization. But that only helped me move and pay for the U-Haul truck. As it turns out, everything that I put in the storage containers, that was auctioned off because they took, I couldn't find a person who would let me put the containers on their property. It was only $85 a month, which I could afford very well to hold on to my most precious things. And I, there wasn't anybody that I knew in Los Angeles that would, that were where I could have them spotted, as they call it. That's what 
Porta store calls it in Ventura, the city of Ventura. They call it, we can't help you, we can't spot them. So they're going to have to come to our yard. And I didn't even have access to get into the storage to go from L.A. to Ventura. I even tried finding a place to rent in Ventura. It was just, it was, it's been a nightmare. A total waste of time and a nightmare. So that's why I say I haven't been helped. There isn't enough money that can undo the damages that have been done. And, of course, yeah, you've got psychiatrists out there that, that would see any of my videos and they say, well, you have to go on with your life. That's the past. And I go, really? <laughs> you know, you can destroy a person over and over again. Let's say a person gets destroyed at the age of 10. And they're told, okay, you have to give that all up and start over. Okay, it's the 10-year-old person starts over again. They manage to build up themselves again. And all of a sudden, they're up to stuff again. Everything's different, though. And they're about, let's say, 15 to 18 years old. Something comes along and does it again to them. Well, that's the past. You have to start over. So they start over again. Now they're in their 20s. And a, an arsonist sets a fire. And a fire comes along and destroys everything. And he goes, start over again. Finally, the person gets up to about, you know, a... 70s or his 80s he looks back he or she looks back on their life and they go you know I had to start over again about every decade because there was always some mealy mouth person causing trouble for me and then start over again and there it goes how can a person enjoy their life at 80 trying to recoup what damage has been done to them over and over again that's what's happened to me. It wasn't a natural disaster that destroyed my stuff. Or my property. Or my well-being. Or my lifestyle. It was your country. Your people. Your unfair rules, regulations, and laws that hurt me. So, the media is not going to do a story on me. Look at that. They, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I am censored from the media. You will never see me running for president against Obama or, or anybody, whoever runs. You didn't see me in, when, when I ran against Clinton and, 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 and Bush back in the 90s. You didn't see me four years later when I ran again. And, and n none of this, none of this was ever covered by the media. You might see some hints of HRM, Caesar St. Augustine, De Buenaparte, on the, you, on the internet once you punch my name in. But that's it. You can punch in HRM, C-A-E-S-A. -E -A. It used to be HRM, C-A-E. But other people caught on to what was happening. Usually when you put six letters in, my name would pop up below the Google, uh, I, the Google uh, bar. And you could click on that and you'd immediately go in and see how, where and where I've been and how many places I, and what I've done. Now, you have to print practically my whole first name, H-R-M-C-A-E-S-A-R. -E as soon as you get that far, my name pops up. So... They're blocking me. Whether it's intentional or not, somebody is creating these new websites with these initials because they're either hinging on the fact that people, that will limit people being able to, um, nobody wants to type my whole name in, so typing in just six letters is real important. So now it's gone to, what, six, seven, eight, nine letters. I haven't checked lately, but I'm sure it's, uh, it's still nine letters. Well, pretty soon, it's going to be more than that. It'll be probably 12 letters or 13 letters. So anyway, um, uh, this morning I'm having a lot of trouble trying to motivate myself to go over and move the stuff into another storage no one wants to call me or help me. I don't even have any minutes on my phone. I have a phone number, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, area code 
888-7392. But, you know, I don't get any calls. And, and it certainly is, isn't, isn't going to be a call saying, I got a lot of money, what do you want to do? First thing I'd say is, well, I don't know if it's worth taking all that stuff with me, but it would be nice if I could just load it all up in an ocean-going container and leave the United States. I don't ever want to come back here. I hate this place. As for running for president, the media has me completely blocked. So, you know, what's more there to say? They're not going to publish anything about me. They're not going to say anything. They're not going to do anything. They're certainly not going to interview me because, remember, I said one of my predictions was the media has to pay me what they paid for, for, for the Zapruder film that shows the assassination of John Kennedy. And they paid, CBS, I think, paid Zapruder $10 million for that film. I made use that as part of my prediction film and solar flares as the prediction that this shooting event was going to happen in Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, which auroras are caused by solar flares. Anyway, talk to you later.